Hi friends and welcome back to another fun filled episode of your favorite show, My Zone Active Kids, where we actively invest in your future. Whose future? Your future. I'm Jamie Loss and I am joined of course by the also pretty liquor nice. Aziza. That's right, friends. You guys already know who I am. You guys already know who we are, even though we introduce ourselves about every single day. I'm super excited for this week because this week we're going to tap into the other side of Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. So the side that we don't always talk about. The side that is actually the most important one. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But yes, that's our theme for this week. I can't wait for us to dive in. I can't wait what Zoe and Zaki have to share with us this mm -hmm. whole week regarding our... Th it's still the same theme, ne? Yeah, we're just going into yeah, another so side like, of it. Same theme, different topics. Yes, basically. Yes, basically. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this topic and I can't wait. I'm excited too, but you guys should make sure to tune every single day of the week from Monday to Friday on DSTV channel 285 as well as Go TV to channel 94 as well as our YouTube page and our MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. And another thing we want to do is give a big, big shout out and a big mm -hmm. thank you to our friends over at Innovations for the these lovely lovely and comfortable bean bags which we are seated on and if you want to grab yourself a pair make sure to send them an email to info at kickstartnam.com so send them an email and order yourself some party goodies order yourself some bean bags order yourself you name it they've got it <laughs> okay so as i think we should sing a song um, I want us to sing this the season to be jolly yeah. or or long time ago in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. I still don't know the lyrics, but I can go along with you. Okay, I also don't know the I'll lyrics that well, so let's rather not. Oh, okay. <laughs> then um, I'm feeling happy because we are going deeper and deeper and we're getting closer, closer to Christmas closer Day. To Christmas. So if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and, and you know it, it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! <laughs> wow, that was super, super fun. Oh, no, definitely. But now we head on over to story, story time. time. Let's go. Flex is your health and fitness show that focuses on the health of the mind, body and spirit. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact zone at synergy.com.na. So today, I'll be telling you the story about the little match girl. The little what? The little match girl story. Oh, well, I can't wait, Zeki. Just listen, Zoe. Mm -hmm. This is the little match girl story. It was a New Year's Eve night, and it was terribly cold and snowy. There was a little girl who was bareheaded and with nothing on her feet, walking alone along the dark street. As she left home, she had worn slippers, which were the last thing her mother gave to her before she had died. However, they were too large, large so she had lost them when she crossed the street. 
the first slipper was crushed by a carriage and stuck to a carriage's wheel and disappeared without a trace. The second one was picked by a naughty boy and he threw it up in thin air. He laughed and said he would keep it to make a bed for his puppy. And so she had to walk barefoot. Her feet turned red first and then blue because of the coldness. <gasps> mm -hmm. Her old apron was full of patches and her right hand was held was her right hand still held a bundle of them. She tried to reach a crowded place but no one noticed and bought anything from her. During the entire day she had not sold anything and no one had given her a penny. Mm -hmm. The poor girl, so cold and hungry, still walked along the street with the snow falling on her head and down her back. All the windows were lit up and there was a wonderful smell of roast goods. Mm. When, her gra when her kind grandmother was alive, her family celebrated New Year's Eve at home happily together. However, the reaper... However, the reaper had taken her grandmother away. Her family had run out of money, so she had been forced to leave her lovely house, which was decorated with beautiful climbing ivy. She now lived in a dark slum and had to listen to her father scolding her every day. It was so cold, so she sat down in a corner. She drew her little feet up close to her, but it became colder colder and even colder. Her little hands were almost numb. She could not go home as she had not sold any matches or received any money. Her dad would have beaten her. Oh, it's so cold. Should I burn a single match to get warmer, she was wondering. And she dared to take one from the bundle of matches. <gasps> and then she burned it. What a wonderful light it was, she thought. She was sitting before a large fireplace and the flame was dancing and warmed her delightfully. Mm. The little girl stretched out her feet, warmed them, but the flame went out. And then the fireplace disappeared too. The poor girl held the remains of the burnt out match and felt very sad. Without thinking, she struck a second match. This time, the wall turned into a veil and she could see into the room. There was a table in the middle which was full of delicious foods. The most wonderful thing was the roast goose and it appeared to jump right out of the dish and mm. came up to her with a knife and fork in its back. And then the match went out. In front of her was now a cold and thick wall. <gasps> wow! On the street there was some people passing by but they didn't notice her at all. She struck the third match. Suddenly, a large Christmas tree appeared. Hundreds of candles were shining and twinkling beautifully on the green branches. The little girl reached both her hands towards them, but all the candles flew up and turned into stars in the sky. Okay. Oh, maybe someone is about to pass away. She was thinking of what her grandmother always told her before she had died. When a star falls, a good soul goes up to heaven. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. She rubbed another match against the wall. The yellow light shone around the, and she could clearly see her grandmother smiling at her. Wow! The next morning, snow still covered the street, but as the sun rose, it was, it was much warmer. Children were excited when their parents let them go out to play, in the corner, leaning against the wall, sat the little girl with red cheeks and the wall, with with red cheeks and a smiling mouth. Next to her, there was a bundle of matches which had all been burnt. She had frozen to death on New Year's Eve. Or well, at least that's what people thought. The lady next door came out of her house and took her in, and she told the lady all her amazing stories that she saw in the fire that night and the lady was so so amazed by how amazing and beautiful her imagination was 
the little girl went for a nice warm bath and the lady next door gave her food as well as a lot of blankets and the next year she adopted the little girl and I think this story is really amazing because mm -hmm. even though the little girl didn't have a beautiful beautiful Christmas or as she would usually have had things took a turn and I believe there's always someone that is willing to help and there's always hope for better days mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what the Christmas spirit is all about always be willing to lend out a helping hand and don't forget the person next to you that's right mm -hmm. but this was an amazing story time i think we should all have hope for better days every single day from us it's bye, bye. Ohole So Nice is an entertainment show brought to you by the youth for the youth. This is a dating show that allows individuals to participate and be their own true selves. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact zone at synergy.com.na. interesting definitely a nice little christmas story time a nice little christmas i feeling. love story times but i think the christmas touch is just everything and yeah. more i think it it has a little bit of magic to it, it am does. i the only one that feels like it it tastes like gingerbread biscuits the story time with with milk or milk the story tastes like mm -hmm. gingerbread and biscuits mm -hmm. it feels like it like when you eat those two on a christmas morning Really? It just feels so warm. Or not just on a Christmas morning, every mm. morning <laughs> eating all the way up to Christmas. It just feels, actually, until the 1st of June, it just feels very really nice. Yeah. Like home. But now... Until the 31st oh of yeah. December. Oh, the 31st. And then it's, of course, a new year, and that's a whole nother topic, and a whole nother discussion, and a whole nother... I don't think we should talk about it uh, now, even. I'm I ready. can't wait. <laughs> I'm super excited. But now, guys, we are moving on to Zoe and Zaki. And they're just going to be telling us, you know, a little bit more. Us? They're going to tell us a little bit more about the birth of Christ. Wow. Or they're basically going to introduce the topic to us. Mm -hmm. And then I think we'll, we'll, we'll see what they give us throughout the week. So, guys, you need to stay tuned if you don't know much about that because... This week, you'll be learning so much about that. Definitely. But I personally can't wait, so I think we need to go. Mm -hmm. So let's go. My name's Zeki. And, and we, we are niece and nephew. Welcome back, friends. It's a new week with a new theme, of course. Well, not necessarily a new theme, but same theme, different topic. Definitely. And today we're going to be talking about one of the major reasons around Christmas. What do you mean major reasons, Zoe? Well, Saki, most of the time we only focus on Santa and the gifts, but forget the actual reason we celebrate Christmas is because of the birth of Christ. Oh, so basically the whole world is celebrating Christ's birthday? Yes! So more than 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ was born on the 25th of December. Wow! So if it wasn't for the birth of Christ, 
we would never have Christmas. Exactly, Saki, and that's why it's called Christmas. So, if Christmas was born in June, I sorry, if Christ was born in June, would we be celebrating Christmas in June? Well, most probably, Saki. Mm, that wouldn't be as fun as it is now. It's not. It's not just about it being fun, but it's more about the principle, right, Zoe? Yes. Of course, but we will still be able to celebrate all the festivities. Yeah, but 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 where where are my manners, Zoe? What were you saying? Well, what I said was we, of course, will still be able to celebrate the festivities. But it won't be Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. It will only be Happy New Year and. Merry Christmas on two separate occasions. So you can't necessarily tell someone in June Happy New Year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I always wonder how Jesus was born. Oh, if there's one thing I know about Jesus Christ's birth, it was an absolutely beautiful story. Well, I definitely can't wait to hear about that, Zoe. And, and you are very lucky because that's what we are going to be discussing this week. Wow, I guess my lucky charm is finally working. I think we can end it off with a nice little song before we jump into it the rest of the week. Um, we can sing. How about we sing the fishy song? And one, and, and a two, and, and a one, one two, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Wow, I love that song, Zoe. Well, I'm glad you did. Because now it's time for your fun fact, Seki. Yay! The did you know that the elves go through all Santa's letters from children and make sure that each and every one is read by Santa Claus? <gasps> How mm -hmm. many letters would that be? Five million, I guess. Well, that's quite interesting. But that's it from us, friends. See you again. Bye. Bye. Active Kids is an initiative under the MyZone brand that aims to provide exciting and easy activities and fun stories. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact zone at synergy.com.na. Active Kids, where we actively invest in your future. Because I learned so much. I thought I knew all about Jesus Christ's birth and Christmas. But turns out I actually had to take a few notes from Zoe and Zeki because... And there's a lot you, more coming throughout the week. I, I so that was like... I think I need to touch base. base. That it's was a like a touch of base. But yeah, no, we're definitely going to learn a lot more. And we're going to have as much fun as they definitely. did right now. It's time for us to start with our active activity. And yes. since we have Jamie back on our screens, and it is festive season after all, so we are going to be eating lots of chocolate and drinking lots of tea. <laughs> I want to see that I know what you're going to say. So guys, of course, we're really playing my favorite Choco Choco La La. I haven't Choco, played this Choco, game in a while. The last time I played, I did, I did. You lost. Yeah, but like miserably. I'm miserably. Sorry. And one. Yeah. Sorry, Jamie precious. Is me. I'm sorry. Not everybody gets in it. Sorry. And a one. Just hold and on. two. So can you pick the seat first for the ones that don't know? So guys, this is how you play chocolate. 
Choco choco la la, choco choco te te, choco la choco te choco la te. I think it's the singing. I think Sorry. maybe you shouldn't sing. Why? Or don't sing like that. You don't that. like my voice. Then maybe you won't make mistakes. Are you intimidated mistakes. by it? Um, sometimes people are intimidated, intimidated, but it's fine. Wow. Excuse me. Okay, I'll try to not sing because. <laughs> Some people are starting to feel some type of way. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. You know when you're, oh, if you're getting dizzy because that's how good it is. It's a something, it's a superpower. Being Her. dizzy is never anything good. But you know what? You would know. And a one, <laughs> and a two, and a one, two, three. Choco, choco, la, la, choco. Take this ring off now. No, but why must you come for me like that? You couldn't say it properly. I'm sorry, can you please take that ring off? Thank you. <laughs> and why must you say that ring? Say your ring. Hmm. I'm not going to change me, my dear. <laughs> please take off your ring. Why are you rolling your eyes for me? Why must you be aggressive? <laughs> I'm not being aggressive. Guys. I want to play, but you, you pull your Why eyes back. Why must you beat me? No, because that's how the game is played. No, precious, we didn't start yet. You weren't ready, but we did start. Are you done now? Kids, rolling your eyes is not a very good Kids, thing. Kids, beating your me. friends is not the way either. Use your words, baby. No one beat anyone. So because this is not beating. Because no, that's how we game. play chocolala. <laughs> we play it like this. I thought this is what you went. This was chocolala. I went and then your okay, arms okay. were there. One, so two, three. Went. Choco, choco. Is that how we play it? I mean, hmm? if, you, if that's your approach, then that's your approach. Ah. Uh. Guys, let's play the game. <laughs> because this one came with her own agenda. And no one. And a two. <laughs> Who sent you? And no one. And a two. And a one, two, three. Choco choco la la, choco choco te te, choco la choco te, choco la te. Wow, Precious is doing good. Must hand it to you, Precious. This year has been rough, but if there's one thing you got right, it's definitely <laughs> playing choco la la. <laughs> at that pace, yes. No, I'm proud of you. But, but let's go I faster. I can't go at a faster pace. You, you can. You are the same person that told me that if you say things, they will come through. So just say you can. I can. Yes. Choco choco la la, choco choco te te, choco la choco te, choco la te. What was that? You see? Hi. It's giving hand show, guys. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna go faster. Just a little okay. bit. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Choco choco la la, choco choco te te, choco la choco te, choco la. Okay. Even you try. You no, I believe in you. Want to it, eh? No, because why are we doing this? No, but you are doing you this. You confuse me, please. <laughs> no. You confused me. <laughs> okay, our last one. Whenever we do it really slow, I get confused. Cause okay. I'm so I'm gonna be going faster. I so we can try and go slow if you'd like. Okay. Oh God. No. That's what I mean by slow. Like slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choco, choco, la, la, choco, choco, te, te, choco, la. Choco, te, choco, la, te. You see? Even when you go yeah. slow, you can get <laughs> Because your mind is already on yeah, the chilling. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of your own thing because no. it's so slow. Oh, yeah. No. Yo, guys. Okay, last time, just like okay. for them. Okay. Should we go super fast or medium fast? Medium fast. Okay. Choco, choco, la, la, choco, choco, te, te, choco, la, choco, te, choco, la. What do you mean? You will not. What you will you not. Are we pointing? Yes. We are on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it was super fun. Precious, you did a great job today. I'm proud of you. I don't like this game because Jamie <laughs> only wants to play this game with me. To no. To make me feel small. No, it's nice. It's nice teaching you. You're a good learner. I can't be taught the whole year. Can we just acknowledge okay, this I'm game is not for me? The same way also the bouncing the ball game is not for you. But why did you have to bring it? No, I'm just, it's an example, no, so maybe fine. you understand. It was really better. fun, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'll catch you same time, same place. Bye. Bye.